Now at the plate, Matt Antonelli. Hey, what's going on guys? How we doing? We're back with another episode of Road to the Show. I might look a little bit tired right now. We're playing early in the morning again. I played early in the morning last time, got a bunch of hits. Gonna try it again. Before we get into uh, today's game, just a couple of things. I'm a huge football fan, Super Bowl. Who do you have, 49ers or Chiefs? I really want the 49ers to win. Um, Garoppolo, expatriate, and uh, I don't know, I like Kyle Shanahan, I like John Lynch, and uh, I just, I don't like, anytime an AFC team wins, a team that I see play the Patriots a lot, I just don't want it to happen, so I want the 49ers to win. It's going to be a good game. Hopefully, I'm hoping the 49ers defense can pressure Patrick Mahomes because he's like Superman, okay? So who do you think is going to win? And uh, man, I got a lot of Patriots stuff going on. I know a lot of people don't like the Patriots. I'm obviously a huge Patriots fan. Brady, maybe not coming back. Now rumors of like Belichick maybe leaving at some point, which I don't think is happening. Um... You guys think Brady's going back to the Patriots or leaving? I have, like, this bad feeling that he's leaving. I don't know if it's a bad feeling, but I just have this feeling that he's leaving. I don't know. Anyways, let's go to the batting cage or to the practice or to the training facility. Let's see. I think we probably need the batting cage. Cap on play vision. Don't need that. Play discipline. Strike zone recognition drill. And what's this? Hand-eye contact. Attribute. Oh, yeah, I need that. I need to raise my cap still on that, but we'll fill it up. I'm just going to skip it, though. I'm not going to make you guys all sit here and watch me play. You know what's interesting? Last episode, a couple people said I sounded sick. Now, I don't feel sick. Like, I'm not coughing a lot or anything like that, but I feel like I have no energy lately. I just feel like I'm really tired. Um, and I didn't even think that I was sick until I watched that episode and then I did, I sounded a little off and I was like, oh, I sound a little off here. And then people started saying that I sounded sick and I'm in the six hole. All right. So we've got, we're playing Miami today. This is, I didn't look at their record yet, but I'm assuming this is the battle of the, the basement right here. <sighs> Well, I've almost got more big league homers than I had AAA homers. I thought I'd rate than AAA, but I did actually. I did it all at 171 at bats. Jeez. Look at my poor AA numbers 3, 10, and 9. I mean, I would have taken those any year, but. First open back in 2000. Here we go. Spacious. Marlins Park. Oh, yeah. Two basement teams here. Who is that over there? Man, Arenado and all those guys must hate me because I'm just always on this pregame uh, little show here. All right. The center fielder. Number 48. Two strikes. We're going to move this way a little bit. And he hits it back to where I was. Oh, man. I don't know if that was needed. But it's a nice play anyway. Hopefully, you guys, you can hear all right. I, oh, look at the OPS. It's almost Barry Bonds. Um, I'm just turning the heat on. And it's a little loud for me right now. Hopefully, it's not too loud for you guys. Okay. We got nobody out. We got a man on first. This guy likes his four seam curveball. Four seam curveball guy. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now about a 58 foot breaking. How hard is this guy throw? 91. He likes his four seam. He must locate well. Yeah, 
and Maddie, they've been playing some quality baseball. The first four games of this homestand, they've taken three out of the first four, looking to capitalize and continue to play good ball today. You know, Nero, this is time to get greedy. When you win three of the first four, boy, if you can win four of the first five, that sets up a great Oh, place my God. He threw me the slowest 2-0 changeup of all time. Oh, that was slow. And then I almost broke his shin right there. He tried to throw a fastball by me. Too much on the plate right there. Who is this? Yamamoto? I don't know this guy. Thank you. Ten game hitting streak. Guys, he got a couple other things. How about Jeter not getting 100% for the Hall of Fame? One guy, is this true? One guy left him off. I'm sorry, whether you like Jeter, don't like Jeter, like the Yankees, hate the Yankees, Derek Jeter's got to be 100%. What could be the reason? Right to him, shoot. Rocky's luck right there. What could be the reason you leave him off? What could be the reason that you don't think he's Hall of Fame worthy? We have five World Series. One of the better all-around shortstops of all time. I know some people are like, wow, his defense wasn't that great. Like, the guy played shortstop for how many years did he play? 20-something years. And I know he probably, at the end of his career, they could have moved him somewhere else. And they probably, you know, maybe just didn't because he was Derek Jeter. But still, the guy's numbers were really, really good. One of the top shortstops of all time, and we just went deep. Frickin' played for the Yankees was the most, that some people also say there's no such thing as being clutch. He was the most clutch player of all time. Every single time. I mean, I think Carlos Pena said this on uh, MLB Now. I think it was Carlos Pena. He said, if you ask a kid to basically come up with a, say, hey, you can be anything you want. You can have any career you want in the big leagues. Right? Just make it up. What would be awesome? What would be like the greatest career ever? You'd probably just pick Derek Jeter's career, pretty much. And I'd say that's pretty accurate. So, I don't know how he didn't get 100%. It had to have been a Red Sox fan. That's the only thing I could think of that left him off. Or that said no. Hmm. All right, got a battle now. No, Matt. I don't know how I foul tipped that. I knew halfway to the plate that that thing was like not even close. I don't know why I swung. No, Matt. That breaking ball is so slow. Oh. Ball that slow, you have to make sure you see the ball up, like really up. When that ball's released, when that when that ball's released, if you don't initially think that's gonna be like a big time hanger, that it ain't a strike. Alright, who's in the mind? Oh my god, we're losing seven to four. What happened? I haven't been paying attention because talking about the, the Hall of Fame, but how'd it go from wasn't it four nothing to seven to four? This guy throws ninety seven miles an hour. And he doesn't like his four shooting. What the hell's the matter with you? What the hell's the matter with you? What movie's that from? You guys got the movie last time, Major League Two. What the hell's the matter with you? First offering on its way. Take it back. Take it back. Or it might be bring it back. To me getting ahead on one, it's the most great movie though. Tell if I hit that well or not. No, I didn't hit that well. I was on top of it too much. All right, Matt. Time to freaking zone it in. 95. Oh, speaking of Derek Jeter, I just realized we're playing the Marlins. Four seam slider. Oh, 
Oh, thank God. I don't know why I swung at that. Guys, that's, I should have went for two there. I should have went for two. That was not a good pitch to swing at. Oh, oh. That ball is like down, moving away. I mean, still hit it hard. I'm not happy with my last three at-bats. I started talking a lot about all kinds of stuff, and then wasn't paying attention. I'm not gonna lie, that's the one time right there where I pressed up when he picked off and then I pressed down quick and somehow he went back, I don't know how. I mean, I shouldn't be stealing right here. I'm not gonna steal, okay? I'm gonna listen to Bud, I'm gonna play the game the right way. Good thing I didn't, because that would've been a double play and that would've ended the game. And then Bud would've said, what the hell are you stealing for? Down by three in the eighth inning. Grown man hit that one. Guys, we lost to the Marlins. This is unacceptable. Any Miami Marlins fans watching this? Put that in the comment section below. Alright, my plate discipline went down. Why? I had one bat at bat. What else? Larry Walker got into the Hall of Fame. That was great. Did you guys see his reaction? That was awesome. Did you see his dad's reaction? That was even awesomer. More awesome. Hernandez, two and nine, not getting very good run support. Also not pitching great. Wow, Harold Ramirez. This guy crushes on the road, can't hit at home. We should trade him to Houston. He hit like 318 on the road, but he hit 450 at home. I'm kidding, Houston fans. I'm playing around. Seriously, he'd be in the Hall of Fame. Oh, Matt doesn't need no stinking glove. I heard that the Astros are going to come out and formally apologize for... Hold on, who's pitching? Hernandez, 91. All right. I heard the Astros are going to formally apologize, which is nice to see. Because I couldn't take any more of those interviews where they were like, the MLB has done an investigation and blah, 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 and then just keep repeating it over and over again. It was like watching a Belichick inter uh, interview. We're on to Cincinnati. That's what it felt like. Only worse. Okay, really likes his fastball. Guy trying to pound this thing in the bottom of the zone here. Go right here. See if it continues today. Living down and away. Oh, but he left that one middle. Oh, oh boy, that's good base running, Matt. It's actually more like 105 speed. Guys, let me give a little, let me give just a little bit of coaching right here, okay? So, here's the hit. Now, once I hit that ball, I'm running, okay? Now, here's the thing. Let me give you a few things. One, I want to watch this guy. So, I was trying to look, and I swore he was going home. There he goes. So, he goes, all right? Now, next thing. Because... Because the ball's hit the center, you know the first baseman's a cut, so you know you get a little bit of room over here. You can take a little bit of a wide turn. Now, second baseman, this is a good job, because second baseman on this play is supposed to come over here and get first. But a lot of times they get lazy, or they just, you know, they just don't go. 
And so if they don't go and you see that, you can take a big turn. No one's around here, okay? And now you're just reading the ball. Now, usually you're reading the trajectory of the ball. If it's high and you don't think it can be cut, then you just roll in the second base, okay? This one was low, but Matt has such great speed that I just figured I could beat by the time this ball gets cut and then thrown home. And look at, wow, bad communication right here, okay? This guy, catcher, you've got to be screaming. Right here, you're like, okay, the ball's bouncing. It's going to bounce twice. We're not going to cut it and throw a guy out when he's halfway. So I'm screaming, two, 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 screaming. Because if he cuts it, if he just cuts it and goes to second, he probably gets mad. But he didn't, and you're not getting him with that. So good hustle, okay read. Usually you're not going to go on a low throw like that, but Matt's got great speed. Also was just assuming the, the, not the Astros, the Marlins were going to screw that up somehow. And they did. Okay, guys. That was horrendous base running. What happened was I stole, he did a slide step, I tried to stop, but in this game they make it impossible to stop. They've got to fix that a little bit because, well, let me show you. Let me show you again, okay? Let me give you another. Let me give you another little coaching tip right here, okay? Lots of coaching tips today. Okay, now watch. If you guys say to put this on him, there we go. Put it on him. That's on Matt now. Okay. So when you're stealing... We just talked about this at our anti baseball practice. First, Matt, take your hand off your helmet so we can run, okay? So he takes a slide step. So I'm stealing, right? Now, there's certain times where I go to steal thinking he's going to do a big, big leg kick, but he slide steps. Slide step is what he does right here. He just barely picks his foot up and he goes to the plate. So then I say, I don't want to steal anymore, but I'm already breaking because I'm going right on the lift of the foot. So I go, okay, he took a slide step. So in real life right now, I just shut it down. But in this game, you can't shut it down. I, I'm pressing down on the thing as hard as I can. But watch, he keeps running and running and run. Look, it took him all those times. That's a long time to shut it down. Then the ball's hit to the right side. I've already told him to shut it down. But now the ball's hit the right side, so I gotta move up. So now I'm hitting go, go to third, go to third, go, Matt. Holy God. I know Matt maybe just doesn't have good agility, but geez Louise. And let's see if this call was good. Yep, yeah, it's the right call. Got him, even though he really doesn't tackle. Okay, they're bunting here. No, they're not. I thought we were playing really young, like a bunt was going to happen. Oh, go get him, Matt. I got it. Guys in, but inning is it's only the fourth. We're down five to two. Jeez. Yeah, this guy likes fastballs down, but then he threw me a what he threw me, a little rinky dink breaking ball or something. He's probably gonna go back to fastballs down. Or fastball right there. Maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Ready with the 0-1. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Oh, change things up on him and he got him to swing the pitch right there. Hey, that's a huge another one of those right there. He's been thought was going to be higher than that. If he's able to get any feel on his secondary stuff, he might be able to hang around a little bit. That's a horrendous slider. Rounded down the third base. Gotta spoil it. It's a good pitch right there. That's a good pitch right there too. This guy loves to throw down. I mean, you've got to be able to throw up or throw in at this point, because I'm now I'm just looking down. Go ball. Go. Come on. Get over his head. Oh. I did miss that, guys. Like, 
he was down to down to down to down to down, and then he finally hung one up. But I was my PC, I was so far down, I couldn't get it up in time. I don't know if you guys could hear that guy in my controller screaming two a thousand times. Like, it's good coaching right there by the Rockies. That's what the Marlins should have been doing on that base hit the center. Should have been screaming two, and I would have been out. Got to get dirty here. Got to keep the ball in the infield. I don't know any of these guys in the Marlins, except Brian Anderson. The only reason I know him is because I traded for him for about 16 seconds in my franchise mode. All right. I've got it. Antonelli waits on it. And that ends the inning. Come on now, Matt. Antonelli hit a double or better. I'm feeling good. Who's pitching? Whoever this is. 95. Wow, he really doesn't like it. He doesn't like anything. Oh, that ball scorched right at him. Hurt my finger on that. Ouch. Okay, 9-2. to two. This guy throws 96. Is it a prerequisite to throw on this team? You've got to throw 95 or above out of the bullpen. Oh, the other guy didn't throw very hard. He was starter. Okay, four seam. Likes his four seam. Finally, someone that throws 96 and likes his four seam. I actually like that four seam right there. If this guy throws this ball up over the plate, I'm hammering this thing. I, I read that well. Yeah, I can see that. Even though it's 98. Some guys, you just see the ball well, no matter how fast it is. This is one of them. Oh! Golly, jeepers! Jeepers! I don't know why I moved the PCI there, but I saw that ball well. This guy's just got a nice smooth arm action. The ball comes out nice for me. This game's really weird. There's some guys that are really hard to pick up, and then that guy, I felt like I could see every pitch he was making. I knew exactly where the ball was going. I wish I could say that about my real career more. But. All right. Rocky's about to make a comeback. Go run, Matt. The ball. You stink. You stink. You're going to get me. You guys stink. Go, Matt. Run. Run. You guys stink. You guys stink. What are we doing? What are we doing? No, I need to see that replay. I need to see it. No, it, I just... It's ninth inning. Antonelli. Guys, look at this. This is... Is this the play? Yeah. Base is loaded. Okay, what is there? One out, I think. This is horrendous. Let me get you from Matt's perspective here. This is just horrendous baseball. Here it is. Boom. Ball's crushed. 
All right, so ball's crushed, and I'm like, all right, this ball's, this ball's destroyed. Guy on third, tags up, fine, okay? Well, there was, was there one out, or was there no outs? There might have been no outs, regardless. Okay, even if you want to tag up. I'm watching this guy. Right? I'm watching him. He's on a dead sprint. Right here, I know he's... I, I could tell right as... I'm watching the ball. I see the ball right there. And I'm like, there's no way he catches this. He cannot catch it. Like, look at it. It's not even close. You can see I'm starting to run. I've already pressed the up button like 62 times by this point, And then finally he runs. Look at this guy. Why? Why? He's still on the bag, and the ball's either going to be a home run or off the fence. Like, what are we not running for? Now the ball bounces up there. Then it hits up top of the wall. Look at that. He's six inches. And I got to sit here. I'm pressing up as fast as I can, but I can't run because this knucklehead over here. Who is that, David Dahl? Like, run, David. Then we have a third base coach the whole time. Puts his hand up and says, on the bag. Murphy is saying, dude, I just smashed the ball in the gap. I'm going to second base. This idiot saying, I'm... Wait, wait now, now look at If you're the third base coach, you've got to have some feel here, third base coach. You're watching the game. You're watching. You're watching. And you go, oh boy, we have three base runners for two bases. We, I cannot put my hand up and say, stand right here. I have to send them. Because you already have three base runners right here. So you send them. And you say, you know what? I'm going to send them. Which still, maybe I have a chance. If I wasn't telling them to stop right now. The freaking guy hasn't even picked the ball up in the outfield yet. And you're telling them to stop at third. What kind of third base coach are you? You should be down here. Way down here. And then you've got to realize, okay, I've got to send him. Freaking Arenado's still right here. I know he was tagging. We've got almost four. This is classic Rockies baseball right here in this game. We have four base runners almost for two bases. What are we doing? So now the third base coach, watch, watch this, guys. I'm going to make Matt look like an idiot right here. So now Matt, <laughs> what the hell? Okay, I'll go back to second. What the hell, this freaking guy here. Okay, I'll go. Oh, I'm going to second. At this point, I know I'm out, so now I'm like, well, let's just be an idiot. And maybe, maybe they'll make a mistake. Maybe they'll throw a ball away. Why stand there and just let them tag us? So I run to the next base. That was the worst. Guys, that was the absolute worst. How much, how long have we been playing for? Wow. <sighs> Guys, that was a long day right there of, what did we play? Two games? Outrageousness. Time of play, pace of play here in Colorado for this Rockies team is horrendous. One, we can't give up any less than eight runs a game, so every game takes four hours. We're not even playing at home either, where the ball flies. Two, we make like 52 mistakes a game, so I got to replay everything. It's unbelievable. Anyways, I'm going to sign off here. I got to go over them. Do a little franchise mode. Not fran yeah, franchise mode. I haven't done that in so long. I've been so busy. We made a bunch of trades. And uh, I'm going to go over and, and do one of those right now. So if you're interested in watching the Padres win a World Series, check that out in like a day or so.